in our sailboat tour video, we promised we'd do a tech tour video. Yep. And then we thought about how much technology we have and realized it would be incredibly too long or we would just be like running around the boat super fast, not really telling you much of anything. Yeah. So, which seemed kind of pointless. So we decided to break it up into multiple parts. We could really dive into each one. Yeah. And we figured the best place to start is the most important place to start. At the heart of our system, lithium batteries. Or just the battery bank. Battery bank, which is? Right here. Here's the tour part. Ready? Our batteries are under here. And under there. There you go. There's two four batteries. They're in there. Promise. <laughs> and that uh, concludes the tour. <laughs> now you know why we hate SLAs. Lead acids. One of the reasons. It's gonna be hard to get to the batteries to service. Forgot what pillows go there. It's not a whole lot to show you on the battery situation. They kind of just sit there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's a lot more to cover than just where the batteries are. Like, why did we choose lithium? How many why batteries do we have? Yeah. Is it enough? But most importantly, why lithium? Yeah. That's what we're going to try and answer today in the most simple, basic, possible way. That we can. Yeah. Yeah. We're not experts. No. 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 But we have been living off the grid for the past seven years. Uh, the past six years by RV and the past almost year by sailboat. So we may be new to sailing. We're not new to living off of batteries. Yeah. We've learned a lot. We've killed our fair share. Yeah. We, uh, we didn't have a clue what we were doing when it came to batteries because it's not like, you know, you don't get an instruction manual with a boat when or you, with an yeah. RV. When you come, you just think, oh, it's like my home. I'll just plug something in and before you know it, your batteries are dead. So we learned trial by fire. And yeah, and we've worked over the past seven years to figure out the best solution for us and amp hours and all that. Yeah. So before we dive in, we thought to ourselves, what's the easiest way to kind of show lithium power? Because it's all around us in phones and cameras and our laptops and everything else. And it's also in my vacuum cleaner. And my drill. Yeah. So my, my thing is, if you've gone to the hardware store any time in the past, I don't know, a couple years or so, you've seen lithium powered power tools. And if you've bit the bullet and you've tried one of these, it is so much more powerful, way stronger. It lasts longer. The battery doesn't die after a year of use. They are literally amazing. And this is like, this is like the easiest way for me to explain the difference and why it costs more money to have, have lithium because you can see and feel the difference with power tools. Yep. And the same thing even in something as simple as the vacuum cleaner. Like you can buy the same exact vacuum cleaner but with just a traditional battery versus the lithium. And let me tell you there is a night and day difference in how long it will last, how quickly it recharges. And the, the problem being is that it's still a kind of a high draw device, I guess. So it just loses its power so quickly. So within two to three months, my suction power is totally gone and the vacuum is useless. This one has been going strong for about a year now. So. Yeah. And what'd you say? It's, it sucks as oh, good as it. It sucks as good today as it did the day <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> so there you go. If you want to see the power of lithium, go to your local hardware store or yeah, home pick goods up store. Something where you can get Side by side, side, by side test. Amazing. Blow your mind, and then this video is pointless to watch. No, no, there's still some good information. <laughs> I promise. Okay. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. <laughs> All right. So, we have examples. Examples. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so, to us, batteries are like the number one most important upgrade as far as anything technology or power goes. Reason being, everything requires electricity to run everything and it did in the rv a little bit but even more so on the boat because all the technology for sailing the the autopilot the winch the really important safety features you know like a bilge pump and navigation those things you don't want going out because you ran out of battery power so that's why we're starting the entire series with batteries, the batteries. yep it is the heart of everything none of the rest of it matters if you can't power it yeah. so batteries now we have three options when it comes to batteries. You've got lead acid, AGM, 
and lithium. And lead acid, just because of safety, it's old technology. A bunch of issues which we'll go over on our website in more detail. We're not going to talk about it here. We don't think lead acid's worth putting in your boat at all. Nope. It's not even worth considering. You should just move right along to the next thing, which would be... That's what we're doing. Yes! <laughs> AGM, AGM and lithium. So, the thing is, lithium is like, it's not even a comparison. It's not even fair to try to compare the two no. together. It's apples and oranges. Yeah. And because their lithium is stronger, faster, better, more powerful, like Charges everything. Charges faster, blah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But then you, you know, so why doesn't everybody buy it? Price. Price. <laughs> yeah. The one sticker shock of the century is lithium batteries. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're going to try to explain. And I am going to be AGM batteries. I'm representing a Lifeline AGM. It's kind of like the industry standard here in the States for AGM batteries. Yeah. It's easy to get pricing and information yeah. on and good reputable battery. So then the other would be rely on lithium battery because, well, that's the one that we have sitting underneath us. Yeah. So. These are what we're going to be using for our side-by-side -side comparisons. Okay, so when we go to look at batteries, first thing we see <laughs> is usually <laughs> this information, right? Okay, so this yes. is as close of a comparison as we could get. So this is our exact battery that we have, which is 300 amp hours, and the price, $3,500. That'll take your breath away. You didn't memorize all this? No. <laughs> okay, so tell me, you're reading. <laughs> Both of them are 8D sized batteries. Mm -hmm. the, this one, the AGM, is 255 amp hours. The price, $863. If you, if you stopped looking right there, you'd think, you, you'd think, oh, yeah, no way I'm buying lithium. No, no way. You'd walk away and you'd have AGM batteries. Yeah, because you'd think they're similar size, right? Like, there's a little bit of difference yeah. in weight. This like, one weighs a little bit more. But it's close enough that, like, heck no, who wouldn't want this over yeah. here? But that's the problem. You have to look past this initial set of information to understand why it doesn't work. So my AGM battery, equal size, has 127 usable amp hours. Yep. And mine has 240, the lithium. So how do we get those numbers? Percentages. Ah. <laughs> DOD does not mean dead on dia, means DOD. Wait, it's de 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 <laughs> depth of discharge. Oh, DOD is depth of discharge, and you'll see that mentioned a lot on our website when you go to, to read all that information. But, yes. but basically, 50% depth of discharge means you can use 50% of the amp hours in that battery, mm -hmm. which is how I got 127. We took the initial amp hour rating divided by 0.5. Times 0.5. We did the math beforehand, so now we don't know anymore. <laughs> and that's how we got to this. Well, except for with lithium, you can draw them to 80%, or at least that's the recommended amount of depth of discharge. Yeah. In theory, you can go to 99%. But they recommend 80, and that's yeah. the numbers that they give us, so that's what we're going by. Exactly. Okay, well, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm getting anxious. Yes. So if we look at these numbers, it's very quick to see that now, all of a sudden, they're not exactly the same because... We have 240 amp hours here. He only had 127. So now we need to get to the same amount of amp hours. So we can, yet again, compare apples to apples. Okay. So now... Oh, it's getting windy. <laughs> oh. Ah, okay. So now, his two batteries equal my one battery. 127 plus 127. So there's a tiny bit more power out of the AGM, like the tiniest bit. You got like two more amp hours. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't end there, but we've already now have double the size, double the double weight. Double the size, double the weight. T equal over here. Okay, but then the next thing we have to look at is life cycles. Okay, so a lithium battery will last 2,000 plus cycle, 2,000 plus cycles at that 80% depth of discharge, which plus really on their little graphs goes up to like 4,000. So you could potentially get far more usage out of it, but this is like their minimum. So that's what we're going with. For the Lifeline AGM on their graph, it shows 1,000 cycles at a 50% discharge. So 1,000 cycles. Right. So now it's going to, you're going to need twice as many batteries to get the same <gasps> amount of cycles. Dang it. Hold on. 
Cue <laughs> elevator music. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, Jason had to add another two AGM batteries to equal our one lithium battery because we've got 2,000 plus cycles. So, otherwise, he was going to die out about halfway while I'm still going strong with another 1,000 cycles. So, now that we've got the same amount of cycles, same amount of amp hours, and we can look and see that we have, well, increased our size by quite a bit. Our weight is absolutely obnoxious, and our price is $34.52, which is now very close to our $3,500. So, when we look at the specs side by side, it's pretty easy to see that it actually comes out in the wash. So, are you saying I'm the loser? Oh, no. <laughs> Just your batteries are as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> So what does all that mean? <sighs> well, it's that's your like that debunks the the price yeah. thing, right? So if you can remotely afford it, you should even if it's only one battery, it's still way better than buying one AGM because you can add to it later on, you know, whatever. Better long-term investment. But it goes beyond that because the power of the battery itself is stronger. Yes way stronger, it can take a huge beating, and that's how we can run things like our air conditioner, our water heater, washer and dryer, washer and dryer, all off of our batteries. And right. that would just destroy an AGM or a lead acid battery. Definitely. Yeah, it would definitely hurt it. I mean, I'm not gonna say destroy it, it depends on no. how big your bank is and all but that stuff. But it hurts the overall life. life cycles of the battery. So you are cutting its life shorter than it already is. Lithium's made to work with these high draw items. Yeah. So you can put a big draw on it, and that is exactly what we do with all the different stuff that we are running all the time in the boat. Yeah. Even while sailing, like our winch when we're raising the mainsail. That thing Huge is... power draw. Oh, absolutely. Radar. Anyway, we could yeah. go on for hours. Absolutely. Fine. The other thing is, how many batteries do we have? Oh, so we have four batteries. So our battery bank's this size, mm -hmm. but we have 1,200 amp hours of rated power, and... Yeah, I did the math on the on the website. So if you want to see our usable amp hours, click over to the website. You'll see that there. Yeah, we've broken it down a little bit further there. But the 1,200 amp hours of lithium serves us pretty well because over the years, we've fine-tuned essentially how much we use. And then we had to add a little bit more in because of the sailboat itself. The devices on here definitely draw a little bit more. But 1,200 amp hours may sound crazy for some people. Uh, and to for, some people are thinking, that's not near that's enough. That's not enough, yeah. But... You know, we run our business, our computers, our every like everything. This is every this is our floating little power grid that we've created, and and twelve hundred is pretty darn good. We could always use more. We'll take it. Yeah, if we could fit it. Well, that's another reason. Okay, so why rely on? Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So why why the brand, right? Because there are a bunch of different choices out there, and there's plenty of really good choices. Yeah, out we there. actually almost bought. Well, we heavily researched. Lithionics. Yeah. And Victron. Yeah. Both are solid lithium batteries. But when it came down to it, like we actually didn't even know about Rely On. Yeah. We hadn't included them um, until we got to just catamarans. And that is like they were big on Rely On. They talked very heavily about them and really thought they were great batteries. They've used them for a really long time. So that's partially why. Yeah. But when we started looking, we thought, OK, cool, we'll, we'll add that into our mix and we'll do a little, you know, yeah. comparison. Well, it was very important for us to have a 12 volt system that we could literally just drop right into the old system. So we didn't have to change inverters or we didn't have to do a lot of heavy yeah. modification. And that was all things that we're going to add to the price. But then there was the actual price of price. the batteries themselves. Yeah. And Reliant is very Four competitively volt. priced. Yeah. So that was a <laughs> bumped them up yeah. very quickly. Yeah, yeah, they went kind of to the top. <laughs> and we asked for a discount. We actually asked for you guys for a discount. We thought, oh, maybe we can get our readers right, or our so viewers a discount. we're doing this video, you know, yeah. about the batteries. And Reliant right? said no. No. And then we asked like three more times. They said no every time. No. They said they don't <laughs> discount their batteries. No. Uh, so we tried. Yeah, but, but Just Cats asking. did come in and say, okay, well, if, you, if they install it with us or buy them from us, then... We'll then, throw in dockage yeah, or... Do a free basic install. Right. So they'll hook you up. Right, so there's a little bit of a discount. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, but the good thing is they are a distributor for Relyon, and if you buy through or have it installed there, then Relyon tacks on an extra two, two year years warranty, of warranty. Which so you, is our next point. Yeah, because warranty is huge. huge. And boy, do we have a story. We have actually two, two stories about... 
lithium batteries and warranty and customer service and yeah but we'll save that for yeah. another video because they're kind of there's a lot that goes into yeah. them but you don't want a company that's going to go bankrupt and not be around for you to get a warranty or service through anymore you want and a company that has a backing who has a proven uh, track record yeah and yeah that's it <laughs> yes and then you also want somebody who's really big on safety and procedures making sure that every battery is properly put together because if not it's well a major safety hazard and we'll go into that at another time <laughs> so yeah warranty price, price simplicity service drop yeah in. that's kind of why we ended up with rely on but now you understand why hopefully we went with lithium batteries this is why yes because it takes that to equal that to equal that times four imagine times four to fit our four batteries like that yeah. would be a lot of weight. That would be all of the screen and thousands of pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Double check our notes. Yes. We'll be right back. And that was my double check. What? That was it. Oh, that was it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that felt like fast. Yeah. We didn't use the analogy. It's comparing apples oh, to watermelons. To watermelons. Yeah. See, it's not apples though. Jeez, we can't, like, <sighs> we can't remember everything. I'm sorry. We had all these good jokes planned. If there's planned. anything we missed, Besides the really good jokes, shoot us a message, yeah. let us know, read our website because there's so much more information. Yeah, a lot more of the benefits and disadvantages and to each and so anyway, yeah. But we didn't want to go into all of that here, mostly because we can't regurgitate it all effectively, obviously. obviously. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the next video about lithium will likely be the cautionary tale and then a not a day in our life, but a... Uh, no, but it, like how we run our air conditioner yeah. and stuff like that yeah. using our lithium because it isn't just... Yeah, yeah. There's a, it's a process. Everybody wants to know how much lithium do you really need and that's yeah. kind of what we'll try and tackle next. Yep. So? Yeah. We'll see you then. See you on the water. Oh. Did we cover everything? I have Feels no like idea. we did. I know. <laughs> I'm like, what all did we leave out? And it's like the black ink is getting everywhere. Yes. Okay. Oh. Don't forget your vacuum. Don't forget your power tool.